Hello, welcome to my tech farm. Another filament testing video. This is Isan ESA Plus, and these two boxes are sent to me by Isan, and this is a sponsor video by them. But basically, uh, my schedule is full next four months, and what are they paying for to change the order because they want this video to be finished as soon as possible? But this channel also has its own sponsor, and that's the Polymaker. The price of this uh, spool is twenty-five dollars. Maybe you are familiar with Isan ABS Plus. That's very popular filament. And at that time, I even had some success with the printing on open printer. Of course, I don't recommend it uh, to print without enclosure. And now we have the ASA Plus. It is available in nine colors, I can see in EU store. In US store, I can see only five colors, but I believe that this will be changed very soon. Excellent weather and UV resistance of this filament. This means it is suitable for the long-term outer use. High impact resistance, which is typical for the ESA ABS filaments and great mechanical properties, low warping. Enclosure is highly recommended with these filaments. It has higher temperature resistance compared to the ABS, for example. The print settings, on the nozzle between 250 and 280 degrees Celsius, on the bed between 90 and 110, the speed below 250 millimeters per second, and the part cooling between zero and 30%. Let's see what's in the box. Both filaments are in black color and they ask me to present some practical application too. There is a desiccant. The filament is very flexible. The spool is quite full and the reason for this is that we still have one kilogram, but the density of the ASC is smaller compared to the PLA or PTG. These are my test objects and for impact test I will have several objects because I want to do this test on several machines. Generic ASA is the default profile, 60 degrees Celsius is the chamber temperature, the nozzle temperature I am raising to 270 degrees Celsius and the flow rate is 12. Different part cooling I am reducing from 80 to 50%. I almost forgot that these spools cannot go into the AMS. Additionally, they are quite full and the loop may easily fall off and the edges are not hardened and quite slippery which is a problem with this fast AMS2 unit. I wanted to use these rings from TPU. They fit perfectly on my Isan PLA spools. But this spool is few millimeters smaller so I ended up using an external spool holder. Isan should pay attention more to the quality of their spools and make them compatible with the AMS units. This is now the second layer and the temperature inside is already 60 degrees Celsius. But I can feel the typical smell of the AS. It is not too strong, but unfortunately my H2S is not connected to that ventilation hole, unlike Exxon Carbon next to it. This is the end of that printing. No problems at all. Printing is finished few seconds ago, bed adhesion check. It's acceptable, but definitely I feel more comfortable if I would use the smooth sheet. But I have to ventilate the room first. From practical application, I am printing this horizontal windmill, which will be outside. Removing of the supports, no problems. And this is the shaft. Shaft has a groove in the middle. I hope the layer attached will survive this bending because it has to fit in, and it's fine. It will go up there because sometimes the bird sits there and poops to this artificial grass, but this is the playground for my smallest daughters. Hopefully this will scare them away, because this plastic owl helps only with the smaller birds. Measuring the shrinking, this should be 80 mm, 79.59, which is approximately 0.5% of the shrinking, a very typical number for the ABS and AS materials. To understand better this filament, from my pattern summary table I will include the results for the 23 ABS and ASA parts without fibers in them. The tensile test with horizontal printed test objects. Layer adhesion with vertically printed objects. I already mentioned that I will include this average from 23 pieces and here we can see that the ASA plus is noticeably weaker compared to the average material. But on layer adhesion, actually it is stronger. This is my rating for the layer adhesion and this is a good layer adhesion, especially for the ASC material. Shear test, side by side horizontal and vertically printed parts.
Printed in horizontal position, approximately 10% weaker compared to the average material, but printed in vertical position where the layer attrition is important, noticeably stronger compared to the average material. Torsion test side by side horizontal and vertically printed objects. 1.1 1.2. Very typical, similar brake loads, but different brake types. This breaks more suddenly. In both cases, very similar loads. Uh, this is very minimal difference because the accuracy of my equipment is 0.1 Newton meters. Crypt has a deformation under constant load of 1.25 kilograms. <laughs> 16 Day 5, tie for the last measuring. 17.87 On first graph we can see the distance between two reference surfaces and we can see that it is very similar to the average ABS ASC materials but the creeping is the difference between two days and even the creeping is very similar to the average material which basically stops in this case after the first day. This is very minimal. Temperature test in the oven, where I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. The one on the left side is this ASC. And I notice the first deformation at approximately 92 degrees Celsius. On 123 I stop the experiment just to check how hard is it. But of course at this temperature it is quite soft and flexible. And this temperature is very typical for this type of the material with my testing method. 3 point bending test, distance between supports is 50 mm. And I'm measuring the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. This is the deformation under 5 kilograms. And under 10 kilograms and we can see constant deformation during this one minute. But after this test basically almost no permanent deformation on this test object. It is completely straight. The behavior is very similar to the average material with a little bit more deformation of the ASA plus and also they don't like these too high loads for example in this case the 10 kilograms. Impact test with my DIY machine, half kilogram hammer, zero position, this is the zero position, and then test objects one, two, and three. The reason I'm testing on all three equipments is that I need a lot of data. I want to calculate the relationship between my DIY impact tester and this digital one because in the future I want to use only this one for the Sharpie and ISO impact testing. And soon in a separate video I want to present you this machine too, tensile testing machine, but it is not finished yet. Um, I have to finish this holder for it and maybe in a few weeks. Sharpie impact test the first break. On the right side you can see three measurings. Removing the Sharpie hammer and placing the ISO version. This can be done in one minute and there will be a separate video about this machine. Object is prepared. Again three measurings on the right side, but let's summary the results. A lot of conclusions here. First of all we can see that uh, this ASA plus is more brittle compared to the average ASA BS materials, but this is tough too. I mean PTGPLA would be somewhere here. These two are comparable theoretically with each other. This is with the digital ISO impact tester and um, slightly different numbers because the hammer is a little bit different and I have different friction between the hammer and the test object when it don't breaks immediately. And interesting to see more and more times I can see that uh, these numbers are similar. This is Sharpie impact tester supports on two sides, but it looks like the numbers are very often similar. Our results one more time without any additional comments. And as always this one line will be added to the summary table for my pattern supporters as the only gift for them. These are the results for the bending test, deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds, torsion test, temperature test and impact test. It is always good to have this kind of filament ready for use in case we need something for outside or let's say in a car, phone holder. Don't print it from PLA or even some PTG cannot survive a hot summer day. Uh, definitely temperature resistance of the ASA is great. Now I don't like its tensile strength but on the other side it has greater layer adhesion. It's not theoretically same with some other colors too but uh, there is some delay and they asked me to finish this video as soon as possible. 
about this uh, windmill. It is great and now unfortunately what I was afraid of, uh, the layer adhesion of this shaft was a little bit weaker because it is too thin and on this side it was uh, broken. So I am reprinting this but uh, instead of the printed shaft I will use a bolt with a ring around it to have a correct diameter. This is my experience with the Isan ASC Plus. If you have some other experience, you know, few lines down in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video until the end and happy printing.